we have discovered a way to stop your R5 overheating. Tilter have released the Tilter cooling system for the EOS R5. Oh my god. Is this your website? <laughs> it's, it's a fan stolen out of a computer. <laughs> this is essentially, as Pete says, it looks like a CPU fan, if anyone takes a PC apart, that you'd sit on top of the, the heat sink for a Made P by processor. Iron Man? Is that the Iron Man mask? No, Tilter, who make camera cages. Um, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. They've released the R5 or R6 camera cooling system. And so you have essentially a fan the size of your LCD screen, so five and a half inches, that fixes to the back of your camera and blows air onto it the whole time. Well, that's a good idea. Well, I mean, we're yet to test it. So uh, I'm going to reserve judgment, but I am going to get in touch with them and see if we can test it on the R6. Um, and to see if it actually works. It is. It, it, put it this way, even if it doesn't work, it looks pretty cool. It looks really meaty. It makes your camera look a lot cooler than without it. Yeah, it makes your R5 look like it's smoking. Yeah. Like, you know, like... If you want to make your cool. camera look hot while keeping it cool, get one of these. And Tilter, if you're watching this and you want any help with slogans in the future, please just email uh, us. You know, it's, I can just bang them out. It, it, just oh, like that. Yeah. I just gave you one. P Pete's happy to give you one and bang one out. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what do you do with the screen then? You can't close the screen. You can't close the screen. So it goes in the recess where the LCD screen was, right. for those of you that are listening and not watching. Um, so open the screen up. Open the screen up to the side on. and then you mount it in. It runs at up to 5,000 RPM and has a noise level of 30 decibels. So it should be almost silent all the time. You could barely hear that. That's good. Um, it looks good. The specs sound great. Um, the only issue I have... Well, there's two issues. Firstly, it needs an external power supply. Yeah, so, it's pretty powerful, I guess. So you have to mount a potentially a USB-C battery bank to the top of your hot shoe. Yeah, it's no drama. I can do that. Yeah, okay. So you can do that. That's fine. It doesn't take up a huge amount of space, but yes, you can't close your screen once you've got this attached. Right. The real issue I have with it is all the tests of the R5 when they came out and everyone was cumbling, coming across this overheating issue, all the tests suggested that no amount of external cooling actually stopped it from overheating. Right. So there's people that would put it in a freezer or a fridge or blow blow air onto it okay you've just found a real problem with this product it probably won't work not because the product but no. because the the camera obviously switches itself off and won't come back on that's the thing the, although yes the r5 and r6 does have internal uh, temperature sensors to protect it right so this fan could bypass that by keeping it cool potentially so that the sensors don't come on but the cutoff time is hard baked into the camera's firmware. So right. it's regardless of the camera's temperature or the ambient temperature that it's filming in, yeah. the camera will switch itself off from yeah. recording at that time and will not allow you to record until a certain amount of time has elapsed again. Got you. So it's baked into the camera's so you're firmware. Telling me I'm taking my camera down to the North Pole. Yes. I should say up to the North Pole, uh, shouldn't yeah. I? Yeah. There I am. Yeah. Taking pictures of polar bears. I'm having a great time. Yeah, I decided good. to start filming. Mm, 8K. Yeah. Wow. It's all going well. 15 minutes. It's actually minus 20. It's probably minus 30. Someone's yeah. going to correct me and say, if it was minus 30, the ice cap would melt. I don't know. Please. It, it, it's cold, AJ. Any That's meteorologist sat there, let us know. I've grown a beard and my beard is frozen. Wow. But my camera switches off. Two problems there. Yeah. You can't grow a beard. Right, why would you do that? They're listening. You don't have to. <laughs> and second one, yes, you're absolutely right. Your camera will still switch off. Okay, so in that case, um, great product. Great product. Not for Canon. The, the final issue I have with it, and this is why I actually want to get hands-on and test it, is that it's blowing or sucking air onto the plastic external chassis. Right. If you actually want to dissipate heat properly, you'd need to attach it to the metal that's metal, inside yeah. 
and and sink the heat from that, you know, like a heat sink. Right. But you can't because you're just blowing air onto the plastic external, and it's a weather sealed camera, so it's not actually going to. Have you do a asked great deal. them? Have you reached out? And asked I've reached them? out. They've they've not replied. I'm going to do it again uh, because I actually do want to do a video featuring it. And but you need a cage to strap it onto, by the looks of it. Yeah, I'll get them to send one. It does actually need to attach to a tilter cage, but I, I'm imagining this product comes. It's with like it. for anyone that hasn't come across this kind of setup, it's like small rig. Yep. It's um, yep. a metal structure that surrounds your camera and then you can bolt accessories onto. And this is just one cool looking accessory that straps onto. It's a, it's a really great idea. And I like the look of it. I like the Iron Man mask. Is that their logo? I think it is. It's cool. Um, yes, it's a, it's a great looking product. I love the idea. Hopefully it is as silent as they're making up 30 decibels running. You shouldn't be able to hear that. But I'm dubious as to whether it'll actually work or not, unfortunately. Oh. And you will need to strap a big battery power bank to the top of your camera as well. So the whole point of having a sleek, small, hybrid mirrorless camera to yeah. record your videos is that it's portable and easy to move and, you know, run and gun and all that. And now you're actually attaching it to a cage and accessorizing it with a battery and this fan and all now obviously you're going to be looking for microphones and yeah, lighting building up a rig aren't you you're building a rig and you look cool because you're building a rig well if you're just going to start building a rig why not get a black magic ursa mini pro 